In this video, you are going to learn the three main strength classes of cement and by the end of this video, you will have known the different kinds of cement that we use on a project from start to finish. In fact, the information about the classes of cement that I'm about to show you will help you understand which class of cement is stronger than the other and also know exactly where to use each class of cement at different stages in construction in a clear and concise way easy to understand by everyone. You will also know the different prices for each class of cement and also clear all the confusion you've been having about the different types of cement in just under 10 minutes so be sure to watch this video till the end basically there are three main strength classes of cement that is 32.5 42.5 and 52.5 followed by an r or n r refers to rapid or early strength development and n refers to normal or standard strength development while 32.5 is of low strength 42.5 of middle strength and 52.5 of the highest strength when choosing the right cement for your project you have to keep in mind that compressive strength reached by 42.5 n and 42.5 r will be the same once completely cured however 42.5 r will reach a higher initial compressive strength than 42.5 n same for all classes in other words 32.5 r will set faster than 32.5 n and also 52.5 r will reach a higher initial compressive strength or set faster than 52.5 n compressive strength of concrete simply means the capacity or ability of concrete to withstand loads without failure the performance of concrete is simply determined by the cement used in the mixture therefore concrete will be of low strength when 32.5 class of cement is used in the mixture middle strength when 42.5 is used in the mixture and of high strength when 52.5 class of cement is used in the mixture. The cement strength can be determined by the compression machine where concrete cubes at specified intervals of 7 days, 14 days and 28 days of hardening are tested using a compression machine which finds out that 32.5 is of low strength, 42.5 of middle strength and 52.5 of high strength. You might be wondering which one of the above classes of cement really fits my project and right now I'm going to show you exactly which cement really fits your project so stick around and watch this video till the end so as to understand this clearly. Basically, cement with 32.5 rapid strength or normal strength is used in general applications where high initial strength is not so much needed. For example, when doing masonry brickwork or block work for both bungalow houses and storage buildings, when plastering and rendering for both bungalow houses and storage buildings, when building perimeter walls for both bricks and blocks, we use cement with 32.5 compressive strength. We use cement with 32.5 compressive strength when doing flooring, for example on this floor here, when doing finishing, when casting concrete in bungalow houses and also when making hollow blocks for masonry work. For example here, we used cement of glass 32.5 plus stone dust to make these hollow blocks. Cement with 42.5 either R or N, also known as middle strength cement, is typically used in applications where middle initial strength is required. That is, in applications where at least 30 newtons per millimeter squared compression strength is required after the compression strength test. In other words, we use cement of 42.5 either R or N for all structure work in storage houses that is for pads or footings, columns, slabs, beams, staircases, the lift shear wall and all elements that make up a structure of a storage building. Kindly take note here please and always use cement of 42.5 when doing all structure work in storage houses. Also remember that when building in swamps or waterlogged areas, we use cement of 42.5 R instead of 42.5 N. 42.5 R, this R denotes rapid strength or setting fast, hence attaining its initial strength faster than the one with 42.5 N. So be sure to always choose these kinds of cements correctly depending on the projects you are going to work on. I'm going to share with you other places where we use 42.5 N in a second but before that we use cement of 42.5 R or 52.5 R on all water projects like here because this cement sets so fast. With all that being said when working on water drainages when casting concrete for footings in swamps 
When working in waterlogged areas, be sure to always choose this cement with an R instead of the one with an N. We use cement with 42.5 normal strength when making these paver blocks so as to make them strong enough to handle high traffic. The third class of cement that you must know is 52.5, either R or N. 52.5 is typically used in applications where high initial strength is so much required, for example for heavy structures like this one. When constructing bridges, in road construction and also when casting concrete for precast concrete structures. For example, these walls here are concrete walls that we are precast and joined together to make a complete structure. The cement that was used here was 52.5R. The difference between precast concrete and in situ concrete is that precast concrete is a form of concrete that is prepared or mixed from a batch plant or a factory, cured from there under controlled conditions with the help of reusable molds. Then after getting fully cured, these concrete elements are brought and joined together on site to come up with a complete structure. Then on the other hand, in situ concrete is mixed and poured on site to its permanent location, everything is done on site. We use cement of class 52.5 when building water reservoirs, when casting terrazzo flooring for busy places or heavy duty places, for example when casting terrazzo flooring for churches, malls, dance hall clubs, cinema halls, busy shopping malls or arcades, in classrooms, in hospitals, when casting terrazzo flooring for access ramps in busy places and generally all public places with high traffic. In a second, I'm going to show you the five compositions of cement. What you will see will shock you because this is where many people make mistakes from when choosing the right kind of cement for their projects, so be sure to watch this video till the end. Under the composition of cement, we have five main types that is Chem 1, Chem 2, Chem 3, Chem 4, and Chem 5. Chem 1 is a Portland cement, Chem 2 is also a Portland cement, Chem 3 is a blast furnace cement, Chem 4 is a pozzolanic cement, Chem 5 is a composite cement. It really depends on the company that is manufacturing the cement, but generally, Chem 1 cement contains 92% to 100% clinker. You will find some companies with their Chem 1 cement having 92% or 97% or even 100% clinker, but as I've said before, the minimum amount of clinker in a Chem 1 type of cement will be at least 92%. Clinker is a mixture of limestone and other minerals that are first heated in a kiln, then rapidly cooled down to a temperature between 100 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. Then this clinker is then grounded with gypsum plus other minerals to produce this grey powder known as cement. For example, this is a Chem 1 cement with 52.5 normal spring. It contains 92 to 94% clinker. 3 to 4.5% gypsum and 3 to 5% limestone. This is a Chem 1 type of cement which contains most of its part as clinker or the strong part of cement. Clinker is the strong part of cement. Chem 2 type of cement having 64% as the lowest to 94% as the highest percentage of clinker in the cement, then the remaining percentage is for slag and limestone as the remaining constituents. And from this, we can clearly confirm this is a Chem 2 cement, AP, which falls under here. This is Chem 2, a Portland cement under this notation here having 80 to 94% clinker. This is Chem 2, BP, falling under here. This is a Chem 2, a Portland cement which has 65% to 79% clinker. Chem 3 is a blast furnace cement which has a range of 5% to 64% clinker. Chem 4, which is a pozzolanic cement, has 45% to 89% clinker. For example, this is Chem 4, BP, it falls under here. As it's written here, it has 45% to 89% clinker depending on the category. And this last one is Chem 5, which is a composite cement having 20% to 64% clinker. In simple terms, Chem 1 and Chem 2 are Portland cements, which are the strongest cements among all other cements. And as you can see from here, this is Portland cement, Portland cement here, here, here and here. Then Chem 3 cements are blast furnace cements, K3 
chem 4 are pozzolanic cements, chem 5 are composite cements. In other words, the secret tip here is that all Portland cements are stronger than any other cements. That is chem 1 and chem 2. From real field work experience, this chem 1 has proven to be the strongest among all these cements. This one is stronger. This one is somehow strong and these ones here below are weak and take long to set. With all that being said, the bottom line of understanding all this is choose correctly the right kind of cement for your project to ensure that the design strength of the building is attained, to ensure professionalism in building and construction, and most importantly, to ensure health and safety of the users. What we normally see is that most contractors or builders go to any hardware or store and purchase any kind of cement without first clearly understanding which one is the best to fit a specific project, which puts the buildings at stake or even causing most buildings to collapse due to the wrong choice of the cement for different types of projects. That's the end of this video about the strength classes of cement. In case it was helpful to you, kindly subscribe now. I would really really appreciate. Be sure to watch these videos here on the right about the common mistakes in construction. Thank you so much for watching.